Hey peaches, what's up? So I am so excited to be here today to film this makeup look for you guys. I asked on my Twitter what you would be interested in seeing and I got equal votes for a how-to video for a makeup tutorial and then I got a few votes for a hair tutorial. So if you guys want to know how to do these braids, give this video a thumbs up and I'll do a video on that. But I thought I would start with the how-to and the makeup. So. This is my makeup that I'm gonna do in this video, but um, also I kind of did a little like segment away from it. That's gonna be my second video of how to put on false lashes. I get that request all of the time. It's super popular, probably one of my most popular requests. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys. I talk about this a little bit once we get going, but I did kind of a new setup today. Um, my bed is a wreck because that's what I'm sitting on, but I want you guys to give me your honest feedback and let me know how you feel about this. If it looks good on your computer screen or if it doesn't I'm just trying to kind of figure out what's gonna do best for the area that I have right now in the space that I have so I cannot get over how excited I am to be sitting here and to be talking to you guys but I did want to throw out too that because this is two videos you're gonna see this exact same makeup this exact same outfit this exact same hair in my eyelash video too I really do change my clothes usually if it's sweatpants I don't change for a few days but I do take care of myself Typically, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this makeup look I kind of made this kind of a lengthy video I didn't do it on purpose But I just thought it would be nice to sit and talk with you guys because I haven't done that in a long time So I really hope that you enjoyed this Don't forget to subscribe if you did and I'll have all of my social medias linked down below So you can follow me and chat with me on all of those and let's go ahead and get started in this look Hey everyone, what's up? So I've already done my introduction, I'm sure, and I was looking a bit prettier then. I just wanted to say before I got started in all of this, I obviously have a different new-ish setup. I've set up my backdrop and done the most popular lighting ever on YouTube right now, which um, I thought might help on my camera with the lighting, make everything look a little bit better. Maybe it won't, but I figured I would try it today. Um, and I know that like all of my little baby hairs look funny. I'm just trying to figure it out and I thought that if I didn't try it, I wouldn't know. So if you guys end up hating it, um, just let me know down below which you think looks better. If you guys like a natural like me sitting on my bed, if you like this kind of a thing, um, or whatever you like. I'm, I just, I'm trying. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit because I think that's going to look a touch better for you guys. So I've already moisturized my face. Um, the primers that I've really been liking right now are actually the Baby Skin from Maybelline, which is super affordable. I think this is like $5.99 or $6.99, typically where I find it. And then the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I've had this one for a long time. There's the Mineral Infused and there's a Poreless and something. It's pink. Um, and there might be a third one that's green. But anyways, I've heard a lot about these in general. And like I said, I've had this one and the pink one that's for Poreless perfection uh, for a long time but I just kind of rediscovered this one and I've been using it like crazy also I'm just gonna go ahead and point this out I need to wax my lip take care of that later today this was first priority so I like to take my baby skin primer to begin with just a little bit of that and then I'll do that around my nose um, around the pores around my nose and then actually up under my eyes as well because I have such fine lines there that I figure if it can fill in my pores it can fill in my under eyes then I will take the e.l.f. mineral infused primer, like two pumps of it, and then put it just everywhere else all over my face. So I pretty much always start with my eyebrows. I don't know how that got to be my routine that I like prime my face, do my eyebrows. But that's the first thing that I do. I think it's because sometimes I don't always do like the rest of my face makeup. I mean, like eye makeup, I'll just do face and brows and sometimes that's it. Basically for um, brushes for my eyebrows, I just have a regular spoolie, mine's from Morphe. I have this Mary Kay angled one and that's what I use to fill in my brows because it's so thin. And then I have a couple um, concealer brushes that are angled too. One is from Morphe, one is from e.l.f. Just to kind of clean up and make everything look sharp. And then I also have this one from e.l.f. that's a regular flat um, concealer brush to kind of do the tops. So this is a weird little tip that I like to use for myself. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil. It's an eyeshadow primer but a color corrector as well. It just looks like this. And I'll take that towards the end of my brows like my entire arch this way over and under um, and this just helps 
the product that I use, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, kind of stick a little bit better right there because I find that it's really hard for me to keep color towards the end of my brows for some reason. And I just blend that out with my finger. And the dip brow that I use is in dark brown, just for reference. So I get a good bit of that on my brush. I'm gonna start over here and I'm just gonna get my arch. What's my pinky doing? I just got nails on today and it is like a different world. I don't know how to do anything with them. I haven't had my nails done in forever. It's been years, so I decided to treat myself. I'm not gonna go full in on how I do my brows. If you guys want a separate tutorial on it, it's really, really easy. This is basically it. Um, but if you guys want like an up close or more detailed or anything, just tell me and I can do that too. To clean up around my brows, I just like to use my MAC concealer. This is the Studio Finish in NC15. And I'll take my tiniest concealer brush to do the front of my brows right here. Cause I like for that to look really, really sharp. And I like to use that too to clean up the tail. So let's jump into the rest of the face. Actually a little trick that I've been using that I have liked a lot is priming underneath my eyes and in the corner with an eye primer and that's from Maybelline. It's the Master Prime. The thing I like about this one is it has a little bit of a shimmer to it so it automatically makes under your eyes look brighter from the get-go. So I just put that all in the corner and then underneath as well. So for under my eyes, also I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like every product I've picked up today has been from them. This is the contour, um, the cream contour kit. And it's just in light. So I take a concealer brush and then I take the lightest color that's in here. And I just start with kind of packing that on right there. Um, I probably should have mentioned too, this is like... I guess just supposed to be a fun tutorial, but it is kind of intense. I like a lot of makeup my passion it's what makes me happy so um, by all means critique this to whatever you're comfortable with and um, you know I don't want anybody to feel like that they have to wear a lot of makeup or that they have to wear makeup at all this is all just for fun and for art purposes then I'm going to use my L'Oreal this is the infallible pro matte in classic ivory so we're just going to get that all over So now I just take the Master Conceal. This is from Maybelline also. I love this one a lot. It's really good at brightening and this is in the color Fair, which I think is the lightest color that it comes in, or at least the lightest I've been able to find. So then I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge again and just start getting that in a really nice triangle underneath my eyes. To set underneath my eyes, I just like to take my RCMA powder. I got this, um, I think just from their website was where I ended up finding it, but if you go to like Halloween stores, if you guys have like a trick shop or anything like that, sometimes they have stuff like this too. And I just dip my sponge in and then set underneath. Ooh, it's a little bit more than I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. So to prime today, I'm just going to use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This one's in Champagne, which I like a lot because it already has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And it's a little bit darker. I like to use this one whenever I'm doing something that um, has a lot of browns or shimmer in it already. I think this just makes a really nice base. So I think today I'm going to do kind of a dark, um, smoky-ish eye, but I have a lot of glitter and glitz and shimmer on the inner part of my eye. So what palette will I start with? I think I'm actually going to start with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I'm going to use some of the lighter browns in here like Salted Caramel, which is this one right here. Um, and I also will use Semi Sweet, which is this one, to get a really good transition color going on. So I'm going to start with Salted Caramel. I'm going to start at the very outer part of my eye. You guys have seen this a million times, so I'm going to try not to talk too much through here because you already know what's going down.
and you can already tell um, how much more shimmery this is because it's not a shimmer color at all it's completely matte but because of that um, primer it already looks a little bit more shimmery which I really like now I'm gonna take semi sweet which is the darker of those two start working that on my outer corner as well I'm also going to go ahead and take both of those colors just to kind of smudge underneath my eye on my lower lash line to give that some color too. So now I'm going to take my Morphe 35 OS, which is all of the shimmers. If you guys have, um, I forgot what it's called, it has both of them. It might have this color in there, but I'm just going to use this one up here. So this is the whole palette. It's the second and third up. Um, which is a really nice, it has a little bit of a peachy kind of tone to it, but it's more of a goldy one. So I'm just going to pack that on. I'm going to take the first color in that palette too, which is just a white shimmer to kind of highlight my brow bone there too. So now I'm going to take my chocolate bar palette again and use triple fudge, which is one of my favorites. It's a really, really dark, um, chocolatey, obviously brown color. And then I'm just going to use a little brush to add some more depth back to the outer corner. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna kind of segue into lashes. So that's gonna be a second video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner. I think I'll do a little wing for this. Put my lashes on and then I will come back to finish up the rest of my face. If you guys have any questions about my lashes, um, I'm just gonna be using the Demi Wispies from Ardell in Black. And yeah, so I'll be right back when all of that is done to finish up the rest of my face. Okay guys, so I have my false eyelashes on. I have a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. This entire time my eyes under eyes have been baking. So I'm just gonna take this brush. This is from Sonia Kushuk. And I just like to dust off anything that I've got that hasn't already soaked in my oils. Sometimes I'll go ahead and set the rest of my face with my airspun powder and kind of pack that on. I'm not gonna do that today because I've been struggling a little bit with drier skin. It's been um, raining here a lot and so the atmosphere, the moisture in the air and everything like that has been terrible for my skin. So I'm gonna take my Too Faced, the little black book of bronzer and I'm just gonna start with that towards the outer corner because it does have some bronzer in it too. And I honestly kind of go overboard with this. So I have to start with a little and then I always end up with too much. I bring that up a little bit and then I also like to bring that on my temples and on my forehead a little. Let me show you guys my favorite highlight palette right now ever. It's the black light highlight from BH Cosmetics and I talked on my snap about this a little that I don't usually get stuff from BH Cosmetics, not for any other reason except that I just haven't. Um, and this has been one of my favorites. It's amazing quality for the price. I'm gonna take this itty bitty little fan brush from Morphe, this is the E40. I'm gonna take Electra, and I'm gonna highlight the tip of my nose and then I'll go back and do my contour too. I'm using this highlighter specifically because it has more of a goldy kind of color to it and I feel like that's what I did on my eyes. So we're just gonna match the whole thing up. I'm gonna use a bigger fan brush. This is from Sonia Kushuk again, and I'm gonna use Electrica again. Not Electrica, Electra. Why am I not saying that right? I never have to say that out loud, so I've never thought about how to say it. So I just use that on the tops of my cheek, and then a little around, um, around the bin there, around my eyebrow. So that's it for face. Now for my lips, I can't decide. I kinda wanna do a brownie-ish um, lip to match the darkness of my eyes. So I'm going to use this Jordana um, liner, Jordana, I don't know what I just said. I get this from Walgreens and it's in Rock and Rose. I told you guys before this is one of my favorites. And then I'm going to use Pillow Talk from ColourPop. This is a lippy stick that I love so much. And 
and that's it. So I'm gonna go finish up my hair. I'm gonna put a little jacket on, and then I will be right back to say bye to you guys.